all right guys welcome back to another video today we're playing yasu top lane uh, once again a new patch we're playing versus vein and for the runes we got fleet triumph alacrity last time we got second wind in combo with dorn Show for healing and then most importantly we're also running overgrowth here now today i can only laugh man i don't know <laughs> this guy picks vein top and i have yasuo so i wish this guy good luck and a lot of fun <laughs> This feels really good, I don't know. There is doubt within you. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get a slow push going. Nothing feels better than playing as the Vayne when I'm playing Yasuo. My day is fully made. Let's go for Yolen. Nice ward, so he has no vision anymore. Never pick Vayne top again, man. You're you're about to face off my Yasuo. <laughs> nice. This is the only way how I uh, how I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> oh, got it. Okay, let's go back, shall we? I'm not gonna back in this brush though, cause um he placed the ward down. I don't want my backport to be cancelled. <clears throat> so. The one thing that I always recommend you guys to always do every single game is going for Berserker's Greaves. Now, we're not going for Berserker's Greaves right now. We're actually going to go for a recurve bow straight up for an item. I personally think that if you are in a, in, in a position where you can only afford AT1 boots and attack speed, I think it's better if you just directly go recurve bow from time to time. If you are in a good matchup, I think it really is. Um... We're still going to try and prioritize getting Berserker's Greaves because ultimately you need movement speed here. You need a lot of attack speed. But just for a really good purchase, I'm going for a curve bow early. We have my jungler on top side. Let's see if I can stack up my Q. Hmm. Okay. Yep, and he's pretty much dead again. Okay, here comes the most important part. I'm not going to touch the wave. Because when you look at what some spells Vayne is running, she's running Ghost and Flash. She has no teleport. My wave clear is not good enough to clean up two massive waves with a cannon. At this stage of the game, so I'm just going to let it bounce into me. Very good. <clears throat> Let's hold it with my wind wall. And we let it push once more. This time we're going to let the wave get under a tower specifically. Uh, that way we can farm safely under a tower. She's not able to take a plate if I let this go under tower because it's too early on in the game. And I also don't dash on that one. Ooh. Yeah, I'll walk away from it. Now comes at a point where we have to be a little careful. Well, I'm not the smartest one. Unfortunately, I've taken a bit too much damage going for this. The reason why Vayne suddenly uh, um, uh, pops off so well is... Mainly two reasons. It's it's the fact that she got a reset before, of course, got from like full health, right? But if you look very closely, this guy's got a long sword on top of uh, his Dorn's Blade now. So technically, we both have almost similar items. That's why this guy actually does so much. But also, I've taken a pretty bad trade. From the ashes rises That's mainly uh, has to do with... Uh... Okay, this vein is dead. Oh. Ooh. Okay, this guy is now dead. Goodbye. The power of the uh, combo with the flash. You can't react to that. Like, unless you know that Yas is going to do that, which most people, by the way, they don't. Straight up. <clears throat> Let's go for the Berserker's Greaves. 
There's one thing that I want to quickly mention about Vayne. Like, I don't know what's going on, but... I've had two times during a 1v1 where I thought that my wind wall blocked off the vein E. I don't know what's going on in my brain, but for some reason I thought that. Maybe it's the... Maybe I'm just confused by the vein skin or something, I don't know. But it, it, it almost let me die one time. <clears throat> I've actually got my jung around topside, and the wave is also pushing into me once again. I've got my Berserker Screech now. I'm going to let the wave continue to push into me. This guy does not have to go for a fight. He doesn't have to do that. He can just give that away to him. Because the wave is still pushing in my direction. I can actually... I can I can handle this perfectly. This vein is losing a lot right now. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can bait it out a little bit. I want the wave con to continue pushing into me. And make her lose even more. So I'm going to do this. Okay. We don't want this wave to thin out right now. There you go. Ah, I can't fight her right now. Okay, we go back in. We go back out. Oh, are you kidding? I lost my wave too. I should have killed that stuff actually. Okay, I got her. You see, you see that? So I'm currently level 8 right now. She is level 5. And that's because I continuously let the wave push in my direction. And I try and zone out Vayne from being able to obtain the XP. And that's where this massive, like, massive XP difference is coming from. And that's why I prioritize not touching this wave and just letting it continue to bounce. And letting... Uh, Staying between Vayne and the wave itself. Three level gap is, is insanely massive. Like, we're talking about three items. Like, three components for items. It's a massive difference. Now, let's go back here. We're going to go for pickaxe. Um, one thing uh, definitely worth noting in this game is that we are rarely obtaining any gold from Vayne right now. So when we actually kill her, we gain almost nothing. Because she's already 0 and 4, right? Now on the other hand, we are actually worth a very big value. And we are actually worth a total of 200. You know, plus the other stuff. So. If we make one mistake right now, it could cost us the entire top lane. Especially in Tuvain. So we got to be very careful. So, yeah. so this is something to be very careful about. This is where most of the people that play Yasuo make the mistake, right? So you have a really good early game, which a lot of people tend to do when they play Yasuo. And then eventually you just like feed away all of the shutdowns you have and the enemy team will one behind the game and you're done, right? We're going to try to prevent that. So we're going to play really smart. <clears throat> Now, of course, I'm... Guys, I love playing Yasuo, so we're going to 1v9 this game. And that means that I'm going for some crazy, crazy combos, crazy plays, right? But we're, we're going to try to uh, master the art of uh, not inting shutdowns, all right? That's the, the most important here. Because uh, we don't want to lose this value. And I'm specifically talking about this today, because it's one of the biggest things about playing Yasuo, right? I should have dashed on the wave. Ah, this guy got lucky today, dude. <coughs> I think I can still kill him because I think he thinks that I'm resetting. Hold on. It could not be any freer than this, dude. I, I was actually thinking about EQ Flash, but apparently I don't even have to do this. 
I just straight up got a really good Q off. And we cover for this. I'll, t I'll try and take it, but we uh, we gotta realize that Vayne is gonna run up really fast. Okay. Let's go back here. Uh, we go for Blade of the Broken King. And then after Blade of the Broken King, we are then going for Shield Bow. Also, by the way, one thing I want to avoid mentioning, you guys are, I've seen a couple YouTube comments about people saying, but that's not true. It's called Blade of the Rune King. It's not Blade of the Broken King. It's Blade of the Broken King in my book, man. This item is broken. That's why I call it Broken Chaos King. It's because this directions. item is stupidly broken. Every champ that builds it becomes broken with it. This item has been unbalanced for the longest time and I cannot believe it's still broken. <laughs> That's why I'm calling it this. Got it. I'll never understand why Blade of Throne King is still this broken. Every single season it's unbalanced. A lot of champions are using this item for a reason. Like including Yasuo and Yone. This item is really good. So that's the history. That, that's why I call it Blade of the Broken King. It's because it's stupidly broken. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to change ever. Because it's been like that for years. Ooh, wow. He stole that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't get to do anything there, so... Uh, gotta be careful about Nautilus, we're about to get ganked. Actually, never mind, he's not coming anymore. Our next item is gonna be uh, Shield Bow, and then we go for Infinity Edge. Oh man, that Vayne is probably tilted. We already catch her like several times. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Vayne is really not worth anything anymore. An enemy has been slain. Like, she's worth as little as a cannon. Oh. She, uh, seems like she had figured out. <coughs> Let's go for shield bow. You guys are enjoying the view? Yeah, same man. I I'm enjoying the view this game. Seeing a vein going and 0 and 8. Ah, that's, a, that's a good view. I can't complain. <clears throat> I've recently ran into far too many people uh, running uh, vein top lane. Like, way too many people. <clears throat> pretty sure it's got like a 4% play rate or something. Something pretty high, actually. I'll stay around the corner because maybe we can kill him again. Hold on. No. Okay. Oh, we do, actually. I need like 400 for the shield bow. It's not that much, really. Back in the jungle, we're gonna make sure we get everything we can possibly find. Okay, Diana took this one already, but I can steal this one. Back top lane, take the wave till we rotate. I don't know if he can secure the whole thing. Kind of depends. Okay, we can. <clears throat> so Vayne is trying to impact other lanes now. It's very hard for the enemy team to stop me at this point. I'm like really, really fed. I can get my shield bow. I guess we're going this way. 
After the shield bow, we straight up go into Infinity Edge. I, am the wind of I can't really buy anything. I'll just, I'll just buy crit chance. <laughs> sure. I don't, I'm not a fan of buying crit chance. I just want to go straight up damage. Raw damage, actually. Even when I play champions like Yasuo. I don't really care about how my teammates are performing this game. I think I got this one. The only thing is that if I make one mistake, the entire game is going to end like real fast. I have to be very careful, like one mistake and, and like the whole game will just turn around and um, we will start losing crazy fast, so gotta be careful in those games where your whole team is losing. Are you spawning this? Sure. I have no ultimates, it's like 8 seconds I can't use. <clears throat> There's more people involved. That vein is like tilted. Really tilted, I can tell that. Oh, let's go back again. Uh, we are buying the BF sword right now. And then we straight up go top again. I'm happy that I have a Yumi in this game. I rarely have Yumis in my games these days. I don't see them very often anymore, which is unfortunate. I've been saying for the longest time that like Yumi is really broken. He still is, but no one plays Yumi anymore. It's sad, man. Dude, I, I would want to have a Yumi in every single game. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. Give me all the Yumis. I don't mind. Nice. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm gonna catch up to him that fast. <clears throat> Top will be getting pushed very soon. I can actually, I can actually almost buy my Infinity Edge. We're uh, very close. There's nothing here. I doubt that someone is going to walk into Tribush. There's no real objective here. Uh, no vein to be found. Just in case, you never know. Uh, I'm not going for an all-in into a Nautilus, of course. Yeah. I don't have to take that all in, there's no reason to. This, I have no real objective behind it other than the Drake itself. Just walk away from it. Seems like there will be a fight on Drake within any second from now. Vein is top. I'm gonna leave that vein behind. I'll just let Vayne do her part. Fall. 
And let's go towers. They're actually interested. You know what? They can have Drake if they want to. I'm getting towers, bro. Sure. This is not good. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't hit the uh, Sivir. But I would have wanted it. And we're good to go again. I've got the wave two. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, next item we go for will be Kraken Slayer, or we can go for BT. Let's go for Kraken Slayer. Kra uh, Kraken Slayer on the Yasuo is honestly the way to go in most games. It's a bit situational, but it works every single game. Gotta be careful here. Just pe they can see where I am. They can see it. They, they had vision. Ash is overextended too much. Ignorance. Free skill ever. Another free skill ever. someone can tank it okay well I'm pretty much fine I've got the Kraken Slayer now there you go let's go bottling real fast before we lose another tower <coughs> hey banana thank you so much for the two months thank you man thank you for reselling and supporting me Imagine if Vayne was in there. Next. The light will fall. We also steal the jump camp, of course. Yeah, as you can see, like, pretty much all of the kills we have this game are made by me, pretty much. My teammates have some kills, but, like, my teammates are nowhere in the game. They're nowhere. Let's see if I can, uh... But as you can see, like, we're completely 2v8 uh the game with the Yumi, so... Wait. I got him. Eventually. Triple. Whoops. I wasn't supposed to do this. I'll take the whole topside jungle and then uh, 
take the Baron, I guess. Or... Unity is another word for obedience. Well... Oh, the CC dude? <laughs> I was CC'd for, for, for literally decades. Five and a half seconds. Couldn't move that long, dude. I don't even think it actually counted the uh, CC from Nautilus. I don't think it did. It was worse. Okay, we need some uh, tenacity. Tenacity is pretty important here. I'm thinking we could maybe do this, actually. And then still go damage. Um, <laughs> I can troll around and just go Sephir already. Let's do that for fun. <clears throat> I'm, I feel like I'm trolling with going Sephir. To be honest, I, I have something to tell you guys. Sephir is really the worst item in the game. Um, even for a late game item, uh, replacing Zephyr with something else is always better than actually buying it. So I'm, I'm kind of trolling here. It's not something you want to copy. I think it will be fun. We need to collect Baron as fast as we can. The Baron is top priority. They're all bot lane. <clears throat> oh, she escaped so quickly with that ghost. Yeah, we need to actually take that Baron real fast. That Vayne is like on tilt mode. It is, this Vayne is just not doing anything else other than pushing. Look at this. Oh, we'll catch him the next wave will arrive. Oneself into that direction. I am Let's grab it. Fights. Just terrible, straight up. Wait. Uh, can I get my pants on? I don't think so, but maybe I'm lucky enough. Yeah, the wave is actually... Yeah, the wave's taken. I don't think I'm getting it, but maybe I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm not getting it today. Hmm. Font right now, the worst possible timing in the game. 
No. Oh man, that 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 is actually so funny, dude. dude that's that's the typical Riot Games moment. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't I don't even mind it, man. Like, whatever. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Whatever, man. I have a new chance of getting another Panta. That's how I see it. <clears throat> Let's go. Hmm. We're going to run into a full team, I, I bet. I'll follow that guy until I catch him. Oh. Well. Got him. Oh, game over. Hey, this is uh, Yasuo Top Lane. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.